Champions Cup semi-final number two, folks. La Rochelle heading to Racing 92 for, as I said, the second of the two semi-finals. If you don't know the result of semi-final one, I'm about to spoil it right now. Um, and I've got their jersey hanging up for a reason. Leinster got their win, so they await the winner of this game. And uh, neither of these sides can afford to worry about Leinster yet because they've still got 80 minutes of rugby to get through first. But whoever faces Leinster is going to be in for a pretty tough battle because they look pretty convincing in their semi-final. But anyway, this one is about semi-final number two. Two French sides. Um, so we are going to have a French uh, finalist, but it's not going to be an all-French final this year. Racing did pretty well to knock off Sale last week at home, 41 points to 22. Pretty comfortable in the end. They unleashed their backs and got some pretty serious good pay. They have made a few changes to their lineup this week. I'm assuming some of them is to keep the guys fresh with a bit of rotation. Gogiash really comes in at loose head. Bobigny and uh, Inyakane are up from the bench from last week. So a little bit of that rotation going on. Likewise, LaRue up from the bench in the second row. Fiku shifts from 13 to 12 to accommodate Bakatawa, who was back starting after being on the bench last week. Otherwise, the side is pretty much the same. The backs, I mean, Imhoff, um, Teddy Tomar. Uh, Max Spring, I mean Finn Russell, these guys were all absolutely on fire last week, so that's going to take some uh, some shutting down from the La Rochelle point of view, but they've got their own game breakers as well. Sha is on the bench this week, um, likewise Palu is into the squad, but otherwise it's more or less the same. Gomez Sa down to the bench, so a bit of rotation, but not kind of wholesale changes. Speaking of their back three, if I can drop some stats on you, Last week, three of their four tries were from their back three. Um, and their back three had 122 run meters, 73 run meters, and 53 run meters, plus four clean breaks between them. So pretty tidy stuff. For La Rochelle, they beat Montpellier 31-19, which was, in the end, pretty comfortable. Uh, and they, uh, they have some game breakers of their own, like I mentioned. Um, they've brought in Jonathan Dante into 12 this week, so I'm looking forward to seeing him up against, you know, French kind of teammates in Fiku and Vakatawa. That's going to be pretty interesting stuff, but he seems to be the only change to the starting 15. Everywhere else, it's uh, it's pretty steady as she goes. Bugari is still a hooker. Antonio Priso, the props. Aldrit is still there at number 8. Vito, 7. Uh, Kibala and West, 9, 10. Lades and uh, Rule, the former Springbok guys, there in the back three. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's the same team, man, that basically went out and got the win last week. Botia does drop to the bench, so if you're thinking you're getting a reprieve when Dante goes off and then they bring on Botia, uh, either way, you're going to have some pretty tough, um, tackling to do. Um, Aldrit was an absolute man possessed last week. Like, as much as you can't just focus on one player... He's just like a one-man wrecking machine. Like 95 run meters, two offloads, seven from seven tackles, wins a turnover, got a clean break. Like he competes at the line out. Like what does he not do? He does absolutely everything. And uh, to be fair, La Rochelle did pretty well controlling the controlling the possession and territory. So that's going to be an interesting one to see if they can do the same. Um, Stats-wise for the teams across the competition, um, both sides have had pretty good... Uh, Set piece numbers. Um, interestingly, Racing have got the most penalty goals kicked in the competition. So Ligarek with his boot, pretty reliable. Um, La Rochelle are second only to Toulouse for offloads. So they, as I mentioned, certainly have guys to unlock a, uh, a difficult defense. But um, they're still a long way behind Toulouse in terms of the amount of offloads they make. Toulouse was far and above the top side. Um, but they're pretty decently ahead of Racing, which is an interesting one because when you think Racing... You think those game breakers like Russell and uh, Tom are doing crazy things, but La Rochelle can equally do the same. Uh, Matthew Carley is the ref for this one. Um, we will see how um, how the predictions go. Interestingly, the rugby forecast algorithm didn't have a number up when I could see, but the bookies have got Russing by one point for this one. So, yeah. You guys let me know your thoughts. Do you reckon this one is going to go... La Rochelle's way, or do you think Russing will be setting up that final with Leinster? You guys let me know your thoughts, and um, I'll talk to you guys again soon. See you later.